got a stand set up here at the Home Building and Trade Expo. Great businesses, local businesses here. And it's a good opportunity for me to have a talk to the whole range of people. Just been meeting with Bruno. We've been having a, a good conversation around a program that Bruno started called Trades in Sight, a suicide prevention program. And, and Bruno, you've been telling me the, the stats for trades and suicide is pretty scary. Six times more in, in the construction industry. So that, that's scary. Yeah. We, we've got to really do something about it. Yeah. And it's been it's been really good to be able to play a part in it. But every person has a story, yeah. and they love telling stories. And I think these opportunities, it's a, it's a good time for them to talk about what's really going on. We need to try and minimise and hopefully get to zero the suicides in our society. I'm really pleased that I've met you this morning and I, I can see your heart in uh, for our community and I, I thank you for the time. Thank you. One of the things that I made a commitment to do on the trees at the main, the trees at the main is here I made the announcement that I'm going to see the I made the preparation, I needed maybe 10 or 11 months, maybe even 12 months before the election because I wasn't going to be able to have a huge marketing campaign that the parties have. I haven't got that finance under that budget. So I was going to do it with good old fashioned shin leather and wear out the tyres on my car. Focusing on the right thing. So I thought you can sit back and complain, or you can put your hand up and say, well, I can be one twelfth of the solution if I can be elected to council. And the fact that they're going to take the waters creates the issues. They don't take the water, then there is sufficient water for continuous environmental floods. So the important part with this is to get submissions in, to make sure that you have your say. Yeah, it's very, very important to have the submission. If you've got a some sort of opinion on this, and, and lots of people do, I've heard a few in there today, not that I agree with all of them, but everyone's allowed to have an opinion and, it, and it's it's our environmental. So my, my opinion is if it's environmental water that we've already paid for, through taxes purchased by the government, it's our water. We should not be giving it back to Irrigo to sell it, to sell it again. I'm sitting beside Margaret today and we're sitting in Mudgee and talking about a range of issues. What was the trigger, what was that initial trigger do you think for moving to Mudgee? Well I think it started by coming up and visiting the daughter. Saw a house, fell in love with the house, came up, had a look at it, bought it. We've got a beautiful country, we've got everything up here you need. If you need to go anywhere bigger you can go over to Dubbo, Orange, Bathurst, wherever. Everything is here and you've got the freedom and you've got beautiful scenery. And what do you think the chances of an independent in this electorate are? I think an independent is marvellous because an independent knows what we need, how to go about it and will speak for us. I don't think an ordinary, like if you talk about the other parties, I don't think they really know what country is about. I don't think they know what we need. So having an independent and having somebody from here, go for it. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> we uh, need well, it. Well, thank you for having me in your house today. Oh, Thanks for uh, giving me your time and, and best of luck to those friends to come out here on a permanent basis. I'll get here eventually. <laughs> thank you, Matthew. Thanks, Margaret. Some of those values that, that people are really focused on and, and some of the things that, that you see as the average person out there, what they're after in their politicians. Yeah, Matthew, well, I think we want honesty. We want people that aren't just beholden to, to a party and, and, and thus to their lobbyists. We want people who can actually make decisions that are for the, the long-term benefit of the community, for our families, we have sustainability, we use that word, sustainability, the environment, all those. Those things need to be addressed. They want politicians who listen and make decisions that really are about community values. You know, it's not just about money. It's not just about power. It's not just about, you know, getting back into power next election. Okay, we, we want to leave, in my opinion, we want to leave the earth, the community, everything we do in better, in a better situation when we're not here anymore for the next generation. We don't want to look back on our time, whether it's been in business or in government, and say, oh, the place isn't as good as when we start. After you, the sun was already in the eight o'clock. The coffee was ready. The I'm finishing off my day today here in Farnham and that's significant because Johnny Farnham's biggest song ever was You're the Voice and I feel like he's talking directly to me when he sings that song because 
I want to be your voice. This has been Matthew Dickerson, your independent voice. I'm here with Ross and we're standing in the Wellington office. Do you believe we still can do manufacturing here in Australia? I do believe that we're already having difficulties with paid people in this country. We are paying out money that we get paid to have products produced in Australia. Okay, they cost a little bit more, but it's giving somebody a job, it's giving them an opportunity. Ross, thanks for your time today. Love your passion. Best of luck with it. Pleasure. A pleasure to meet you. I thank you for your time, Matthew. I appreciate it. Standing with Mark in Mount Aquila. My interest is is in the environment particularly, you know, and, and the preservation of the beautiful bits like this and uh, making sure it's managed properly. I understand you're very committed to that, that approach too. That's so uh, it's, uh, it's very comforting. Hey, well, thanks for your time. Thank you, thank hey, you yeah. very much. I'm standing in Stuart Town. I've got Richard here with me and I've got the Stuart Town Cemetery just behind us. You've told me a bit more history about some of the Dickersons around Stuart Town. Yeah, they go back a long, long way. We've got money for lots of other things. I understand that. We choose to live here. But I think the fairness is not there yet. Mm. Um, even though they talk about it. Um, not so knowing your background, I think that's, that's going to all be well for you. Um, Great chatting to you today. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it. I feel very generous with their time and you've been very generous with your time today. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Right. Thanks, Richard. Good Thank you. you. Right. Standing here on the water, literally, at Dixon's Long Point Crossing. As you can see from the path behind me there, this is four-wheel drive access only. So not many people use this road. That's an area that makes it very difficult for people from Mudgee to get access to a range of services around the region. Walking across this crossing here. To get an idea of just how bad it is, water up to my knees. Beautiful view of the river. But this is what people have got to do to get between Mudgee and Orange. I just walked across there, water up to my knees at points. I'm standing here in Yulamala with Fiona. The locals have been trying to get a crossing put across it, so you can cross it any time you want. But I think from my um, point, whether they put a you know, bridge across it or whatever, something has to be done with the road. Appreciate it, John. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thanks for coming out. Standing with John in Coomabella. Down the water, reverted inland would make masses of irrigation land available. As we get more people, we've got to try and work out better solutions because the population isn't going down. Thanks for your time, John. Good seeing you here today. I've just been visiting a farmer in Coomabella, and as I drove away from his place, I came over a crest, and from here, I think you can probably see all 33 of the wind turbines that are part of the Bedenga wind farm. I'm staying at the Lawson Park markets in Mudgee and it's a great market today. A report came out from the government that said back in 2011 they had a restart New South Wales program that had tens of billions of dollars and 30% of that money was going to come to regional New South Wales. When they did the last report, they showed not even 18% had come to regional New South Wales. When you live out in the bush, you're the forgotten people, so to speak, yep. sadly, but um, we all know we aren't. We well, aren't. I'm, I'm trying to make sure yeah. we aren't the forgotten people. Well, you've had a very effective voice so far. Everyone knows your name. Anyway, it's great to see you here at Lawson Park Market. And you too, welcome to Magic. Yeah, thank you. And good luck to the election. Yeah.